There are multiple ways to repair your Sunbrella canvas if it has a hole or a rip. The most popular and the most recommended is to use the same canvas as a patch. Let's get started and show you how it's done. The patch should be cut to size approximately one and a half to two inches around the entire perimeter of the rip or hole. Since we didn't use a hot knife to cut out this patch, we're going to create a half inch hem around the patch itself. If you use a hot knife, it really does a pretty good job of sealing the edges and you could just apply the patch directly to your repair. For our situation, we're using double sided tape to create this half inch hem around the perimeter. We peel off the transfer paper revealing the glue and then baste it in place. Using a double sided tape for canvas is great because it holds everything in place prior to sewing. Another advantage of using the double sided tape is that it helps to seal the hole that's created by the needle when it enters the fabric because when it's in the hot sun it sort of expands to fill the hole if your needle penetrates the glue area. To help hold this patch to the canvas cover we're also going to apply the double sided tape to the outside perimeter on just two edges. That'll hold securely enough. Peel off the transfer tape and then find the hole in the canvas. When basting the patch to the canvas repair area, be sure you make sure it lays nice and flat and there are no wrinkles. It's also a good idea to align the patch to a seam or an edge to make it look pleasing. You can see here in the video, we're going to hold up this canvas cover and make sure that it's aligned with the seam that runs a little bit down the length of the canvas. Because it's a little bit crooked, we're going to peel it up and reapply it. Now let's take a look. There, it's aligned with that seam at the bottom. That looks good. What's the biggest question we get from our customers? How do you get all that fabric underneath the arm of the sewing machine? Well, it's really not that difficult. We're using the Alterfeed LS1 sewing machine here, and you notice we're just feeding the fabric in slowly until we eventually get to that patch area. This cover is approximately 15 years old and we already have other patches in place. Here we are almost to that patch that we need to sew in place. And we've got a lot of material shoved underneath the throat of the sewing machine. Now we'll also show you how you work the patch around without having to pull it out from underneath the sewing machine. You'll notice that we start at the corner of the patch and we bury the needle with the balance wheel by hand do a little bit of reversing there to lock your stitch in place and sew up to the opposite corner. Typically we sew approximately a six millimeter straight stitch. When we get to the corner we bury our needle, lift our foot and pivot on the needle. In doing this we're assured we're not going to have a needle deflection issue. Then when we get to the right angle we lower the foot and we start sewing to the opposite corner again you notice that we just twist the fabric around while it's underneath the throat of the sewing machine. When we get to the corner, we grab the balance wheel and roll it by hand so we make sure that we don't go past the corner. We bury the needle, lift the foot, and then rotate the fabric around, lower the foot, and continue sewing. We're now sewing the third side of this patch. You'll notice at the end of this third side, we'll do some reversing to lock the stitch in place because we find it easier to actually remove the needle here and start on the last side. So we lift our foot with the needle out of the fabric, reposition the fabric so that we can sew along the last edge of this patch. Bury the needle, do a little bit of reversing, and then continue sewing all the way to the opposite corner and do some reversing there we're done. In this application we only applied a patch to the outside surface of this cover. You could apply a second patch on the bottom side basting it in place and sewing around the perimeter of both patches at the same time. We chose not to do that in this situation. Here we are pulling the fabric out from underneath the throat of the sewing machine. Let's take a look at the bottom side. This canvas cover was damaged by some firework sparks. You can see the hole there. Just trim your threads off and your repair is complete. Another alternative to sewing a patch on your repair on canvas is to use Tear-Aid Type A. For more information about Tear-Aid, visit the part number below on our website.
I'm Eric Grant with Say Right. Thanks for watching this video.